Here are the 11 best gaming mice that you can buy in 2021 for every budget. We got some as low as $30 all the way up to $200 plus, so hopefully this video suits everybody. The link to purchase all of these will be down in the description for anybody that's interested in buying one of them or just wants to go and check them out. The first mouse on this list is the Glorious Model O. The honeycomb shell in this is the key to achieving its feather light weight and they do provide ventilation to keep your palms cool when you're playing games. The DPI in this mouse can be set through the application and goes all the way up to 12,000. It does have six programmable buttons on the mouse as well that you can use in games and will cost you $50 as of the time of me making this video because it is on sale but normally it cost $85. The second mouse is the SteelSeries Aero X3, which is wireless. This mouse again has the honeycomb shell and a trend that you're going to see throughout this video. This weighs 66 grams and has one of the quickest wireless responses out there because of the Quantum 2.0. The battery life is 200 hours and does have USB-C for ultra fast charging again this one has six programmable buttons and the max dpi is 18,000. this mouse is going to cost you a hundred dollars the third gaming mouse on this list is the razer death adder pro gaming mouse plus the mouse charging dock chroma gaming mouse bundle but if you want to save 40 dollars you can buy the mouse alone this is one of the best selling mice out there it has a max DPI of 20,000, has lightning fast wireless connection quicker than even some of the wired mice. Surprisingly, it has a battery life of 70 hours, which is why I am going to include the bundle link, but if you do want to save $40, you can simply buy the mouse itself. This weighs 88 grams, has 7 buttons, and is going to cost you $130 for the mouse alone, or $180 with the charging dock. The fourth mouse on this list is one of the most well known, the Logitech G Pro X. Out of all of these, this would be my number one recommendation for the people that ask what mouse I would recommend in the comment section. A very large majority of esports players use this. Again, this has the most updated wireless connection for ultra fast reactions. It weighs 63 grams, which is surprising since it's not a honeycomb shell. The battery is going to last about 70 hours. The DPI goes all the way up to 25,600. It has five programmable buttons and is going to cost you $223. I recommend this most out of all of these because although you're never going to be using 25,000 DPI since moving the mouse a hair would cause you to do a 1080 inside of a game, but a mouse with a sensor that big is so precise and accurate that it's nearly impossible to not have your movement be exactly where you want it to be. The fifth mouse on this list is the exact same thing as the first mouse, but wireless. That being the Glorious Model O, wireless edition. Again, it offers every single thing that the first mouse did, so I'm not going to repeat myself. And it does come with the most recent wireless connection as well. The battery in this is going to last you about 71 hours and will cost you $128. The sixth one on this list is the Razer Lancehead Tournament Edition that has a maximum DPI of 16,000 has eight programmable buttons and because I don't want to be repetitive we're going to keep the next ones very quick and simple due to the fact that these are all comfortable they're all lightweight they all have applications for customization include the most recent wireless technology etc but anyways the Razer Lance head is going to cost you $120 and before we move on as always if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and leaving a like is always appreciated if you enjoy or dislike the video if you don't. The seventh mouse on this list is the Rocket Cone Pro Air wireless gaming mouse that has a battery life of 100 plus hours, which is pretty crazy. This weighs 75 grams, does have USB-C for ultra fast charging, and offers seven customizable buttons. This is going to cost you $130. The eighth gaming mouse on this list is for people on a much lower end budget, the HyperX Pulsefire Haste will cost $50. This weighs 59 grams, 
has a maximum DPI of 16,000, offers six programmable buttons, and overall this is a great mouse for such a low price. The ninth mouse on this list is a Logitech G Pro, basically identical to the G Pro X, but an older model, and it only has a DPI of 16,000 rather than 25,600. Again, it has everything that the G Pro X offered other than the DPI being different and the mouse alone is going to cost you $113, but because the battery life is a bit outdated, it's just a little bit over 40 hours, I recommend getting the bundle with a charging station that will cost you $233. 40 hours sounds like a lot until you forget to charge it one night and then it's not working the next day. The 10th mouse on this list is an honorable mention for my content creators out there like myself. This is a mouse that I own personally. It's more so dedicated to MMO games because it's not like super lightweight, but it has 12 side buttons that you can customize into a video editor, making editing really, really simple to do. But if you don't prefer that, it does have two custom side plates as well with a six button option or a two button option that you can swap out from the 12 numbers on the side of the mouse. I'm not saying that this is not good for gaming, but it seems to be a trend that people like more lightweight mice for that. It has a total of 19 programmable buttons, which is honestly insane, dude. It has a maximum DPI of 20,000 and is wireless. This is going to cost you $147. The last mouse on this list is the BenQ Zoe ZA13B, which is the lightest Zoe mouse that BenQ offers. This has a maximum DPI of 3200. If you want a larger mouse, there is three options to choose from, a large, medium, or small, and they're all the same price. This is going to cost you $70. But yeah, man, again, the link to buy each of these will be down in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.